Black Lives Matter is a political statement, and there is a political program attached to it, and plenty of people, you know, sort of broadly may not be aware of it, but the fact that there, it does have some roots in Marxism, that there are radical elements of the Black Lives Matter movement that are very disinclined towards free markets and capitalism, that challenge very basic notions uh, that I think are broadly shared by Americans about, like, equality under the law, for example, this pivot towards equity, racial equity, and a focus disproportionately on outcomes is something that is rather new, but seems to have taken the country by storm. It's, and, it's yeah, almost the only thing people can talk about. Equity sometimes. meaning as opposed to equality. Equity as opposed to equality. Which, in, can you... I can give you a practical example of that. Yes. COVID, we were just talking about a moment ago. We know that the most vulnerable population when it comes to COVID are older people. That if I took people over the age of 55, sure. that's 80% of the deaths. There have been actual conversations about prioritizing people on the basis of their race because COVID is said to disproportionately impact black people relative to white people. It is a ridiculous proposition, but it's a proposition that's found its way into the mouths of governors here in California, the, the pages of the New York Times. We're actively Why talking about this kind though? of ridiculous because we actually know when we look at the global impact of COVID in the United States, again, 80% of the people who are dying are older, around 18% of the people who are dying are black. A life lost to COVID is a life that matters, and we can well, focus on the people who are vulnerable without making this about race. Making it about race only obscures the actual issue. If and you, it's separate, to help, if be you separate race from economic insecurity, sure, right? Like, like Hispanics are hospitalized at three, four times the rate as, of white people for a variety of reasons. For a variety of They're essential reasons workers. Right. They're riding the bus from Boyle like, Heights here, to Beverly Hills. But the important point is that it's not fundamentally about race. You can't un-Hispanic them. There may be different issues in their communities. It could be that they live in, well, in homes with more people. It could be that they live in more urban centers. If that's the case, the policy you're tailoring is for people in urban centers, not Latinos. This is a confusion of categories that is actually distracting us from forging good policy. What you get is great sound bites. You right. don't actually fix problems. It always, it, it, it makes 